Thank you for inviting me to speak before your conference. For those of you who are less familiar with me, I served in the U.S. Navy for 31 years, rising to the rank of three-star admiral before retiring and deciding to run for U.S. Congress to represent the Pennsylvanian 7th Congressional District in 2006. My first command of the Navy was the guided missile fast frigate, the USS Samuel B. Roberts. We called her Sammy B. Also while in the Navy, I served aboard a nuclear aircraft carrier where I slept each night just yards away from a nuclear reactor and saw firsthand how nuclear power can be utilized safely and reliably as an energy source. I support expanding our nuclear capacity, but with the industry addressing safety, as we have done in the Navy, and resolving the problem of nuclear waste. When I took office, I looked for ways we could improve our nuclear industry, and with that, I began to take a closer look at thorium. Earlier this year, I was happy to introduce and get passed by the House two pieces of legislation that call on the Secretaries of Defense and Energy to review the use of thorium as military and domestic power sources. Unfortunately, the Senate, in the conference process, removed the thorium provision from the Defense Authorization Bill. But I will work to get it included next year, and also work to see that the provision for the Secretary of Energy, which is currently in the House-passed Climate Change Bill, survives in the Senate and is signed into law. Now is the time to be exploring new technologies with promise, such as thorium. I look forward to working to bring about a clean and safe energy future. Thank you for having me with you today, and I look forward to being back again in the future.